A new story in Dragalia Lost. I am your host, King David. We will now go into Chapter One: Mergia, Mergia, Village Outskirts. <laughs> That's my Android voice. Hmm. <laughs> A mere trifle. I expected far more resistance from a dragon. Still, if this is all that stands in my way, I will soon rid of this world of their fell presence and claim it for myself. This cannot be. What happened to the beautiful lake that used to be here? Uh, oh shoot. There's too many female characters that it's, um, uh, what, uh, Dragons control. Oh, what's up, Jacuzzi? Thank you for the subscription. Oh, wow. Dragons control the flow of mana, and mana in turn governs nature. I know that she's a girl. When a dragon is slain, the land festers, waters cloud, and winds blow three. Wait, ill. Oh, sorry, I read that as three. Ah. Uh. Damn that Morsiati. He seeks to warp the very world itself. If this continues, he'll turn the entire kingdom into a barren wasteland. We have to stop him, no matter the cost, whatever the cost. Dear no Empire, throne room. Greetings, Empress. You have not often been about the castle of late. Oh, she kind of sounds like Zephyr. Um, I must confess to missing the little audiences you used deign to grant me. Your tongue is as honeyed as ever, Shell. You hardly have reason to seek out my company. Oh, such a sad thing to say. And here I come all this way bearing a fine gift for you. A gift, is it? I am certain you are aware of this, Empress, but some three centuries ago, the Daranel Empire crafted a weapon for the express purpose of slaying dragons. <laughs> of course I am aware of this. Why bring it to my attention now? Because you met... Oh, thank you, JCBNG, for the follow. Thank you. Um, uh, duh, uh, welcome to the Lordship. I forgot what I was going to say. Because, Your Majesty, I have found and revived these weapons of war. Oh, thank you, Quixote, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo. Welcome to the Lordship. Because, uh, yes, I have revived the... Androids. Oh, thank you. Wow, this is like a what is going on? Thank you, Wishy Chan. Welcome to the Lordship. Um, yeah, hope you're enjoying your stay. Wow, this is like a parade. Oh, whoa, JCPNG, thank you for the subscription. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Wow, welcome to the royal family. Thank you, Jacuzzi. I hope you're chilling in the Jacuzzi as you're watching this, as you're listening to this. <laughs> These dragons truly are a marvel. Even a dragon is no match for them. Oh, that hurt my neck. They need no training, feel no pity, and know no remorse. Plus, they are just ever so adorable. Best of all, so long as you have the control element in hand, they will happily obey your every command. I must have some gel, please! Is that, is it gel or shell? Patience, my dear brother, patience. I will lend them to you once I am finished with my initial trial run. T truly Of course, I've never been able to deny a request for my adorable baby brother. I think it's like chips. Oh, chell. Although I must confess to finding the Empress rather mm, spirited at present. <laughs> if she continues apace, ancient weapons such as these may no longer be necessary. At which point I fear we will no longer be necessary. Whoa, that's kind of dark. <laughs> oh, bedroom. No, I need them now. So, this is the control element, eh? How unexpectedly sloppy of Chow to leave it out in the open like this. Yeah, so long as I do possess this, the androids are mine. And once I do control them, everyone will agree that I should have been the one in charge all along. <laughs> <sighs> Finally, the world will see my talents, and everyone will know the quality of Prince Emil. <laughs> 
Unexpectedly sloppy. Rude. Don't you find it rude, Cat Seath? Cat Seath? Cat Seath? What in the world is that? It's like the one the big Cheshire cat with horns. Um. He apparently didn't consider whether or not you would really leave something that important lying around. Dun 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 Oh, it's the Cat Pack Bound Dragon. Cat Seath. Emil playing knots and cross show playing 40 chess. Well, I suppose my brother's absurd overconfidence is the reason things are going so smoothly. So let's call it a wash. Oh, the cat Sith meant to be female? Eh, I like him better as a male. Don't disappoint me now, Emil. I'm expecting big things from you. <laughs> uh, oh, the cat is a female? With Morsiati restored to his full power, he has started to claim the world as his own. But as the other travels the world, slaying the very dragons that form its foundation, a, cons oh, a conspicuously powerful army has begun its own incursion on this land. An army being led by my own brother. Oh, this is uh, King David, me, Yudin talking. Emil! But even though he is my blood, I cannot permit his unjust actions to continue. What is this to be looking? I guess to be or not to be. Yes, yes! Destroy them, my pets! Kill any who might oppose the Empire and all who would dare oppose me! Anyway, kill everyone in this pathetic village! Grant them no quarter or dime or nickel or penny! Affirmative. Your rampage ends here, Emil! So the insects have scurried out from their holes yet again, eh? Androids, crush these filthy insects once and for all. Affirmative. We have to evacuate the villagers. That's a great plan, boss, but it means we gotta deal with these weirdos. What your brother is? Oh, is he like, uh, like a country bumpkin? Have fun for him. I've been smashing and slicing them all day and they don't even flinch. It's creeping me the hell out. And check what happens when I try to fill them with arrows. I've shot a lot of arrows in my life, but I've never seen any of them bounce off somebody before. Paella, is the Empire truly so mad that they have unleashed androids? You're gonna have to fill me in on that term, Cleo. A detailed explanation can come later. All you need to know now known is that is that these are very dangerous foes. He was due caution. Well, no kidding, Cleo. Uh, caution will only... Uh, I don't know how to voice Vim. I guess it's kind of like Melora, right? Because she's a sexy type. Caution will only take us so far when our enemy has seemingly limitless numbers on their side. <laughs> yes, kill my androids, kill my soldiers, kill my fiends, crush my enemies into dust. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Camille sounds like Gollum. We can't stay here. Everyone, fall back. Fall back and protect the villagers. <laughs> oh, good stuff.